Hey guys, Edge here, and today I am bringing you a new unboxing video. That's right, it's been a minute, been a minute. I still post here, you know, occasionally. But uh, today we're going to be looking at the Mayflash Wireless Sensor Dolphin Bar. So uh, recently I've been getting into uh, some emulators on my PC, you know, playing all the all the nice Wii games and other stuff like that. And I'm, I'm having a bunch of fun, but my only problem is, uh, you know, it's it, I've done the Bluetooth Wii remote to my computer, but... I have to like have it like two inches away just for it to like register most of the time so i thought i might as well buy this this or at least i looked up how to fix that and this was a a pretty recommended uh thing uh when i looked that up um so yeah i bought it it's the mayflash it's basically a sensor for your computer and uh i think that's a pretty cool concept um but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at the box first so this is the front you got the wireless sensor dolphin bar so i'm pretty sure it's named dolphin bar because the emulator is called dolphin i mean i might be wrong on that but i'd like to think i'm right <laughs> right then so uh yeah we got wii remotes it also works with the nunchuck which i thought that was pretty cool um just other controllers and then pc logo right there and that's what it looks like supposedly um we got the side right here the wireless dolphin bar it's the same deal and then we have some of the stuff on the back here's the description um, let me read it there. I'm trying to figure out the best way to read it. I know it's a bit different way that we're filming this, um, but yeah. Wireless sensor Dolphin Bar can connect your Wii Remote Plus controller to your PC by Bluetooth. Supports Nunchuck controller and Wii Classic controller. Supports four working modes, keyboard and mouse mode, LED one. Y'all get the deal. And then here are the features. Y'all can go ahead and pause the video and read that. I think we've, uh, had enough reading already. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and pause the video if you want to do that, but... Yeah, pretty cool. I, I thought this was really interesting because that means you could do like all the motion games for Wii with this thing on the Dolphin emulator. So um, that's a big reason I bought it. But now we're going to go ahead and open it up now. Oh, tore the box. I mean, first off, the box didn't come in the best condition to begin with, but uh, I don't think that matters. It's not like I'm going to be collecting the box. Okay, I mean, maybe it would just be good to <laughs> just to shake it out at this point. And there it is. There's everything. Is that, ev is that everything? That is everything. All right. Throw that to the side. And then this is what we're looking at first. So right off the bat, this looks like a, a stand of some sort or like a mounting area. Something like that. And then we got this. This is the manual. And uh, those look like some adhesive pads maybe. Who knows? But now let's go ahead and open up this bag. Let me know what y'all think about the, the new little background. It's... It's uh, not what I wanted, but we're actually in my setup right now, and this is my mouse pad. I I, I, uh, I soon want to get a white background to do all that. Oh, wow. But yeah, like I was saying, I soon want to get a white background to really escalate the quality of these videos. I know uh, <laughs> they're already such high quality to begin with, but <laughs> anyways, wow. So, you know, they keep that they keep that shine on it. That's pretty nice. And then we got this plastic wrap. You already, You already? You already? Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all love that, don't you? Not really satisfying because it wasn't slow. It was just a e e e. But yeah, wow, that actually looks pretty good. I sort of like the dark transparent. See the the PCB or the motherboard, or whatever. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. And then let me see if we can get a smooth one going. Oh no, let me. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what are these? These look like spots to put grip pads. So like when you set it down, it doesn't move around. That's what that looks like, at least to me. Wow, it looks pretty nice. So that's the sync button. You press that, I would assume. And then you also press your Wii Remote one. Um, let me see. I was going to see how well this thing uh, gets fingerprints. You can sort of see that. But, I mean, no surprise there. If you're touching something that's real glossy, you're definitely going to get some fingerprints on it. All right, let me go ahead and take a look at the manual and all that. Instruction manual. Dang, that's a that's a lot of manual. Such a damn. <laughs> no, all right. Um, those are the same things. Just reprinted on there. I'm not seeing anything on there that's telling me what this does. What is this? I don't know what that could be. There's three three screw holes right there. Oh. Oh. Okay. These click in here, and then it sort of uh, stands up like that. Okay. 
and then I'm assuming you put that tape right there and uh, then let's say uh, let's imagine this is a monitor you stick this or it doesn't even have to be a monitor it could be your desk and you just stick it right there so then it's gonna be like levitating a little bit and it won't just be against uh, the actual table or the whatever that's pretty cool Kind of confusing, and uh, nothing in the manual said that that's what you do. But uh, or maybe I'm just blind. Let me look again. <laughs> yeah. Look. All right. I might be blind, but I looked over the whole manual, and it doesn't say anything about that little thing right there. But I guess you could just look at the pictures on the on the purchase page. I bought this from Amazon. Um, that's where I buy most of my stuff from. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up, and then we're gonna go ahead and test this out on some games. Um, I'm also gonna let y'all know it did say we had some firmware in the manual that we might have to get, but I'll let y'all know how that goes. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I just plugged in the Dolphin Bar in a pretty easy plug and play type of deal. It's a USB connection. Um, also, make sure when you plug this in that the on button is a, or there's a little switch in the back. I can't really show y'all because of the way my camera setup is, but there's a switch. I'm pretty sure right here and it doesn't say on or off but just make sure uh, after you plug it in flip it and if the lights go on then it is on um, and now we have the mode set to four there are four modes I don't know what they do really I mean you can look at the manual but basically the deal is just use four all right just make the mode four and it, you'll be a happy camper but now to sync your controller all you gotta do is press the sync button it's gonna start flashing and then you can also press the one and two button on your wii remote to uh, start the syncing process or you could go to the sync button which is located next to the batteries under the shell but yeah that's gonna start flashing and so will this eventually this will vibrate once and show up as player one and then this thing flashes for a little bit but as soon as you see this you are good to go and then eventually that will stop flashing but now all we got to do is go into the dolphin software after you open up the dolphin software go ahead and head to options and then controller settings make sure that you have the real wii remote uh selected as your wii remote one and then also make sure you have continuous scanning um already selected as well um, but yeah the controller is already uh connected and you knew that it is because it vibrated once when you opened up this little software but now it's time to test it out all right now we have everything set up and ready to go and right off the bat i was already feeling like this thing is more responsive than the actual wii sensor you know on the original wii so i thought that was pretty cool and also make sure that you're not too close to the sensor because as you can see the closer you get the you know the less it's going to work and uh, so a good good distance is around like three feet around there um, but yeah, it was working pretty well and uh, it was uh, it was feeling nice. That's all I got to say And also I know it might seem obvious But for those y'all who are wondering if everything else still works and it's not just the mouse cursor or all of that Yes, the motion tracking does still work uh, Like when you're shaking a controller or Mario that's gonna cause you to spin and all that And if you're playing Wii Sports, you know all of the functions of the motion tracking type stuff would be the same so just for those of y'all who were wondering everything still works as it should but anyways guys that is going to be the end of the video all in all i think the product is pretty good but i guess only time will tell um, but yeah guys that's going to be the end i hope you enjoyed if you did drop a like comment and subscribe and it's been edge peace out I can make any nigga here.